what's up guys welcome to another video today we're going to talk a little bit about fall riding the leaves are changing here in east tennessee it went straight from 94 degrees one week to uh being it's like high as 61 today so today we're going to talk a little bit about fall riding on the new road hazards that are coming in to take effect so let's get on here and do this video real quick for you guys i actually had a video last week about an update on my fz07 the tires i put on it the front road fives and you know i got back to look at the edit or to edit it and the video had no audio and part of that reason was where i had a new setup to where i could record what i was hearing as long as my voice with the gopros which is hard to do which i found a way out but now it don't work it worked for one day but anyway the road hazards on driving in the fall this morning on my way to the gym uh there was a lot more road hazards as of right now most of it's off the road but the two main things in fall weather riding that you need to be on the lookout for especially if you ain't drove it already was you need to look for leaves and pine needles leaves is like on ice you get on some leaves and it's like riding on ice you need to uh like for instance on this road the only reason i'm riding it a little bit faster than normal or faster than what i would do would be doing on a normal normal day was i've already rode this road this morning and on my way back home the leaves were off the road already but on the way to work or not the way to work but on the way to the gym all the leaves were wet and in the road the road was wet it rained here last night and this morning so the road was wet leaves were wet and there's a little bit of leaves on the road still but not much but guys leaves are like water or oil they can be so slippery it just bam you don't want to be in the middle of a curve and hit a bunch of leaves the second thing around here in the fall weather riding is pine needles you uh pine needles are, are just as slippery they're probably even worse because they're all little and they're all bunched up i know on the road to my house there's a bunch of pine needles and it sucks that's the one bad thing about fall weather riding third fall, bad thing about fall weather riding is you got a bunch of leaf watchers so make sure you always pay attention to what's in front of you the car could just bow up and stop because they're watching some leaves i seen it done before they had stopped to take pictures of them um that's like the three main things you guys need to worry about during fall like i said here in east tennessee i think it was last week we had 90 degree weather and now it's like high of 60s today high of 62. it's kind of chilly i've got my freeze out pants on and i need to go get some freeze out uh uppers but just kind of out enjoying the day boys on fall break so i threw this gopro together until i can fix the way i had it try to get a a good educational video on fall riding for people who have never ridden in fall weather i know around here i know several new riders that are just starting to ride see there's i don't know if you can see that but there were some pine needles there in the road but you definitely don't want it's like hitting gravel in the middle of a turn you don't want to do it just seen uh for salt the womb just posted up his video about uh his first day here in east tennessee in the smokies and robbinsville north carolina and up there now the skyway all the leaves are starting to change it don't take long up there for the higher elevation areas to uh sit there and the leaves fall down you know there's several trees around here like i said we have had a lot we've had a lack of rain here so it's leaves are already turned brown before they turn colors now that's a little bit about fall weather riding guys that's the the extra precautions you need to take the extra road hazards not counting all the other road hazards there are just keep your eyes open if you haven't been on a road make sure you take it easy i had two buddies that i know last week that had major motorcycle wrecks a guy that's here that's local he 
had a wreck on the interstate and you know he's alive luckily he got he definitely had a guardian angel watching over him and i had a buddy that's in ohio that the car pulled out in front of him and he t-boned or hit head on and luckily he's still alive you know he he probably wasn't wearing gear but you know he's still he's he was able to live and, and not walk away he, he destroyed his knee and his legs but he'll be able to get to 100 percent again so just make sure you guys wear your gear and watch out for them road hazards don't sit there and rip it on a road that you ain't been on or that you ain't made an easy pass on yet because you don't know what the road uh hazards may be on that road you don't know if, like if it rained the wash out in the road you don't want to hit a corner and be all the way leaned over in the middle of a corner and hit a, a, a gravel patch but that's all i got for fall weather riding guys if you have any other comments you know root remarks anything feel free to comment below and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that's it guys i'm out i'll see you on the next video ride safe stay safe and we'll see you